What's that noise? Oh, have you ever had your Viofo dash camera do this? It just keeps beeping and beeping and beeping. All I want to do is drive my car and I want this dash camera to record while I'm driving. Well, guess what? Your dash camera is telling you something. So we're going to go through eight different solutions to correct this challenge for you. Let's go. First things first, SD cards. A lot of times people buy a Viofo dash camera and look and see that, hey, I can get an SD card for like 15 or $20 on Amazon. I'll just buy that one. Any SD card will work. Well, guess what? This is where usually everything's gone wrong very quickly. A lot of the Viofo dash cams are very sensitive to what micro SD card actually goes into the unit. Even directly on their website, they show they only recommend the Viofo micro SD card, SanDisk Max Endurance, and the SanDisk Extreme. These are the three SD cards that they recommend. They actually have a whole bunch that are not recommended, specifically, which is a Samsung Pro Endurance, SanDisk High Endurance, SanDisk Extreme Plus, SanDisk Ultra, Samsung Evo Plus and the Samsung Evo Select. Among that, there is these are included but not limited to a lot of other cards on the market. So here's the thing. If you don't have one of the three listed cards, I would probably recommend looking at getting one of those three cards that are recommended for your Viofo dash camera. At the same time, take a look on their support tab because they may be updating it on a constant basis on which SD card they would recommend using going forward. Number two, this one's actually quite easy. It could be as simple as you just pushing the REC button on the dash camera, because when you push that button, it will actually start beeping because you have disabled recording. Simple as that, hit the REC button and boom, voila, it starts recording, recording again. One channel started. Number three, format the micro SD card. Now, what will end up happening is sometimes your SD card just gets completely filled and you need to actually format it. So for instance, um, let's say your locked files are like 60% of your recordings. So the SD card's running out of space to actually operate its looped recordings because on a Viofo dash camera, when it's locked, it's 100% locked, which means it won't overwrite those recordings. So typically, like on a Viofo A139 Pro, push and hold the REC button for about five seconds and it'll actually format the micro SD card. If you want, take a look at the support tab on the Viofo Memory website and take successful. a look at specifically how to do it on your Viofo dash camera. Number four, unplug the power cord from the unit and plug it back in. Very simple. Typically, if it's a USB-C or a micro USB, depending on the actual dash camera unit, simply unplug it and power cycle the unit completely. Number five, the Wi-Fi app. Commonly, I see this where you're viewing your videos on the Wi-Fi app because you want to see what happened while parked or you want to see what happened when that person cut you off while you were driving and you just scroll up and close the app. So you don't go back to the main screen, like the live view screen, and hit the white button and turn it red so that it starts recording again. So now the dash camera gets confused because you haven't re-enabled it to start recording. And there's three ways to solve this challenge if you do this. First things first, log back into the app, go back to the live screen, change that white button to red so it starts recording again. Or two, hit the REC button on the dash camera and that should get it to start recording again. Now, the other thing I do recommend is I do recommend that if any of the Wi-Fi enabled dash cameras from Viofo, you should turn that Wi-Fi off while driving. There is no need for you to be hooked up to it at all while driving. All recordings are recording directly to the micro SD card on the unit. I know we get stuck with this whole Wi-Fi cameras and we think about our home, but this is actually all being recorded the micro SD card. Like I always tell everybody, you only need to hook up the Wi-Fi camera if you want to review video footage 
or change a setting on the dash camera. Other than that, there's no reason for you to be hooked up to it at all. Number six. Now, if you made it this far, you probably need to look at doing a firmware update. A lot of times, Viofo is doing updates on a frequent basis. I know some of their dash cameras, it seems like they're doing it monthly. And that's probably just they maybe they find a little challenge here or there. Now, whether it's related to this exact issue, I don't know. But same as like your iPhone, everybody tells you to, you know, to power it up, power it down, or hey, there'll be a firmware update for it. So I would definitely recommend doing that. If you are looking for the process of how to do a firmware update, look up here. This is the video link I just recently did walking you through on how to do a firmware update. Number seven. Now keep in mind, this is extremely rare, what I'm about to tell you here. The parking mode cable or the cable in general. So my friend Chuck at Panzer Platform actually just did a whole great blog about this, explaining about how there's differences in thicknesses of cables. So let's say for instance, you got a VOFO A229 and you're using an HK4 hardwire cable. And then you went and bought an A139 Pro. The A139 Pro is a lot more power hungry. And believe it or not, the cabling is actually thicker and there's more wattage supplied to the A139 Pro. So if you're running the wrong power cable to it and it's being power starved, which means it's not getting enough current, it's gonna lock up and have challenges like this. Keep in mind, this is really rare. You know, another thing is, is let's, let's talk directly about the A139 Pro. The old HK3C cable that worked for the original A139, which is still available on the market today, won't work for the A139 Pro because it's a thicker cabling. You need the newest HK3C power cable. Like I said, this is extremely rare, but if you've made it this far, you never know. I mean, I'll be honest, I actually took one of my little chargers for my Pixel 5 phone and plugged it into the dash camera and I was wondering why it was acting up. Well, the cabling on that is so small that it wouldn't support the current to my A139 Pro. So keep that in mind. Sometimes people, we just look at it and we go, I can just grab another cell phone plug-in and plug it in. You might not be able to because it may not be thick enough gauge wires to support the current needed for that dash camera to operate. Number eight. Now, if you made it this far, Obviously, it's because you've tried the other seven things down below. Now, if none of those worked, what I would recommend doing now is contacting Viofo Tech Support or the reseller who sold you your product. That way you can get some little another extra level of service. If you do have any questions, definitely leave them down below. If this video helped you, I'd love to hear that it helped correct your challenge and that you learned from it. That would be awesome to hear. Other than that, Thanks again. I'm Ben from Safe Drive Solutions, your dash cam specialists. Have a safe drive.